Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're going to review something that everybody says is really delicious. What is it? Real good poppers. We'll see if it's real good. Right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos. We do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. So today we're going to review Real Good Poppers. <sighs> they make that name real good. And so my expectations is like up here, but lately it's been wah, wah. We have not been super impressed with the Real Good products in the past, but everybody does say these are really good. Now we had gotten a coupon for these months ago in one of our keto crates. It was like buy one, get one free. And we recently found them in Walmart. They were $4.96 a box. And so we got two boxes of them for $4.96, which I think is like one of the cheapest real good products there is. I think it is too, but I really don't want them to ruin poppers for me because that's one of my favorite things. Well, okay, so let's go over this. It says, these are jalapeno and white cheddar. They are chicken and Parmesan poppers stuffed with a creamy jalapeno white cheddar filling. On the front of the box, it says there's three carbs per serving with 22 grams of protein per serving. How many are in a serving? Uh, three poppers in a serving. Okay. Okay, so let's go over this. So uh, one serving, three poppers. There's three servings in this container. 190 calories, 90 calories from fat, 10 grams of fat, 22 grams of protein. Um, so they are higher in protein than fat. But they're made out of chicken. But they're made out of chicken. Uh, three total carbohydrates and one gram of fiber. So it's only two net carbs. They're saying on the front three net carbs, but on the back it's saying three total carbs and one gram of fiber. So that's only two net carbs. They're already not getting something right. So, well, you know, actually I shouldn't say that. It says on the front three carbs per serving. It oh. doesn't say three net carbs. Well, so it. it's two net carbs. So they're totally being full disclosure. Full disclosure. I actually like that. All right. So the ingredients in this are all natural chicken, Parmesan cheese, which may, is made with pasteurized part skim milk, salt, cheese cultures, and enzymes, mozzarella cheese, which is pasteurized milk, cheese culture, salt, and enzymes, white cheddar cheese, which is cheddar cheese, which is pasteurized milk, salt, cheese culture, and en enzymes, jalapenos, whole eggs, spices, salt, and grapeseed oil. Well, doesn't sound like anything bad Those in there. Those are actually really good yeah. ingredients. Oh my goodness. So let's see. Um, it says you can make them two different ways. Microwave oven, remove the poppers from the packaging, place three poppers on a microwave safe plate, and microwave them for 40 seconds, turn them over for another 25 to 30 seconds, or a conventional oven for five to six minutes, turn them over five to six minutes. Let's put them in the air fryer. Yeah. We'll go air fryer 400 degrees for like five or six minutes. Before we do that. We're going a third direction. Let's let's just see, like, take a look at the bag. So there's supposed to be three servings in here. And there are. There's three servings of three poppers in there. They look cute. They look like jalapeno poppers. So let's, we're going to go make these and we will be right back. Okay, we're back. So I made four. All just right. in case we really like them, we can each have two. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that's what they look like. Big ambitions here. That's actually pretty good. Yeah. Let's take a look at that. Okay, are you ready? <sighs> am I Am I ready? Let okay, here we go. I was gonna dink it. Oh, dink. Dink. That's hot. Oh. Hot, hot. That is not a jalapeno popper. That is a chicken cutlet with cheese in the middle. Okay, I gotta get to the cheese, but they're really hot. I almost used my, my letter opener from Vivid J. <laughs> so there is some cheese in there. You can see there, there is a bunch of cheese in there. It's not bad. It's just not a jalapeno popper. It's chicken. It's like a chicken cutlet it's stuffed a, with you know what it is? Jalapenos. It's a stuffed cheese. chicken tender. It's like a stuffed chicken nugget. That's what it is. So I mean it, 
I wish we had a knife now. So, ooh, it's like juicy. Here, you can see the inside of mine. Okay. So if you look at this, okay, again, if you look at that, if it would focus, it is literally like a piece of chicken, like like shredded up masticated chicken, like a chicken, like a just a chicken nugget. Yum. That has then been stuffed with pieces of jalapeno and cheese. Very small diced up pieces. Yeah. Oh, here's a good one with all of the jalapenos. Now we did it in the air fryer, so it, I was expecting this is optimal. some crunch. There is nothing. There is nothing crispy about it. Well, is it? Could have let it go a couple more minutes to get it crispy. It's like a sponge. And the, the inside is definitely like a sponge. You would not know that there is cream cheese in there. No, it's very. It's like mozzarella cheese with diced up jalapenos. Yeah, there are three kinds of cheese in there, but the chicken is so overwhelming. It's that like you this thick. barely taste the cheese. Well, five things review. Five things. So if you're that was, even, that wasn't even, even a good one. Yeah. Five things. If you're new to our channel here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do all reviews based on five things. We talk about the ingredients. Uh, does a keto based on a nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? So number one, the ingredients. I will say this, the ingredients are really good. Not bad. Like surprisingly good, especially for something like, you know, that you're buying in the store, like a store bought, kind of like, let's figure it, like, you know, a frozen kind of dinner, right? Yeah, but if I said, I'm gonna make you spaghetti and then hand you banana pudding. Yeah, it's definitely not that. Great but the, ingredients. But that's another subject. We're talking about the ingredients. Okay. Ingredients are good. Does it, number two, does it keto based on a nutrition label? Yes. Yes, it actually, it is higher in protein, but it's low carb. It does have some fat. You know, like, so you figure what is, uh, so 10 times, 10 times nine is 90 calories from fat. And 22 times four would be, what is that? 44 times two. So what does that come 22 out 22 times four. 88. 22 88. times four, so 88, 88 calories. So it's equal 50-50 calories from fat and protein. So that's not super bad keto, 50-50. It's not super bad. But um, yeah, it keto is based on a nutrition label. That's that's my butt. I'm so angry, I can't even talk. <laughs> Number three, how does it taste? Well, <laughs> grab yourself a glass of wine and we're gonna be here for a while. So it actually doesn't taste bad, but it doesn't taste like a jalapeno popper. It is a moist, like not great spongy mm -hmm. chicken nugget. Not a great one. I think kids would like it. No, kids have had chicken nuggets that are really awesome. And they're going to be like, this is not awesome. <laughs> and when you get the explosive burn, like it, a hot yeah. pocket in your mouth, it's like a torpedo of Okay, stuff. well, I'm going to give them this. It is the best tasting, real good product that we've tried. Well, there's a good recommendation. Well, am I right or am I wrong? I mean, it is. It Out of all the real good products, we've tried the enchiladas, the pizza. We haven't tried the cauliflower crust pizza. We do have a coupon for that one too. Oh, good. <laughs> Let's run out and get that. But out of all the real good products, I think this is the best one that we've tried so far. I think it is, but I mean, maybe if you go into it knowing it, what it is, is a cheese, it is a slightly spicy cheese stuffed chicken nugget ball, then you'll be okay. I'm gonna say this, it's not even spicy. I like spice. There's no spice to this. There is an homage to jalapeno in an there. An homage to jalapeno. Um, But here's the problem. I'm gonna try another bite. If I don't you, know why, but I If am. you eat it when it is hot, you're gonna get explosive cheese throat. If you wait, you're not gonna no. be able to eat it because when it's cold, you know that's gonna taste like garbage. So I don't know. It doesn't even taste like chicken. It, it really, Great job. So, I mean, I, I, I shouldn't say that. It does. I'll tell you what it reminds me of. It reminds me of the store-bought, like, the the you would go buy the frozen dinners of, like, the chicken cordon bleus. Like, if you yeah. ever made homemade chicken cordon bleu where you would take, like, a piece of chicken and you'd put, like, a piece of cheese and a piece of ham and you'd roll it up and bread it and put it in the oven. That's how I used to make yeah. it. Then you go get the ones that are in the store, like, where they come in that little thing and it's, like, chopped up chicken that's been pressed into a roll and stuffed with cheese. That's what it's like. It is. Only. You could buy Hungry Man or Healthy Choice, or a name brand of what you're talking about, and you get one level. 
This is if you get the not name brand, like the store brand of their fake turkey. I would honestly, though, give this to my kids over a regular chicken nugget because at least it's much, it's only three total carbohydrates. It's a little bit healthier for Just, them. If they ask you, though, what are we having for dinner? You don't, you don't know. I don't, I don't know. know what I would call it. Yeah. Cheese it's, stuffed. Taste is okay, but it's chicken definitely nugget. not a popper. Like, we can, we're going to do a recipe on how to make a good popper. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, number four, how much does it cost? Now you're really going to add into it because it's $5 a box. So, there's nine of these in here. So, what does that come out to be? Like 75 cents per popper? Just because they market it to us does not mean we have to purchase it. That's true. Just because the tube top comes in my size doesn't mean I should buy it. And probably I should not. So number five, would we recommend this? No, don't buy this. What do you think? <laughs> no, oh my it's, gracious. It's just, listen, here's the thing. It's not bad, it's not a horrible taste, but these have been sitting in our freezer and I was like, I can't wait to try them because we both love, I love jalapeno poppers. poppers. I actually make them all the time, but you know, jalapenos can be a little carby. You're like a carb per jalapeno. Yeah. So whenever we have some extra carbs, we always slice it up, stuff it with some cream cheese, sprinkle with a little bit of bacon mm -hmm. and then some cheddar cheese on top. This ain't a jalapeno popper. And I know someone's response is going to be, yeah, but if you're on the road and you don't have any, they're, they're coming out with a lot of grab and go items that you can take with you if you're like on vacation or you're staying in a hotel or at somebody's house. Don't do this to yourself. No. This is not a swap out for a hot, like a, a, a jalapeno popper. Absolutely not. Like if you're like, hey, honey, instead of the one we've been eating, let's switch to this. They're going to be like, no. No. This no. isn't the same thing. And especially when you consider three of them as 200 calories. Definitely not worth it to me. Well, that is our video for today. Do us a favor. Let us know down in the comment section if you guys have ever tried these and what you thought of them. And also let us know if you've tried any of the other real good products. Yeah. So if you like what you saw today, do us a favor. Hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.